guys, thanks for watching. As always, my bed is a hot mess, and so is the rest of my room. But it's a day, it's Christmas Day, so you guys deserve an update on whether my Project Pen project was a success or a failure. So, I'm just going to tell you guys right from the very start, it was a fail because out of six products, I only used one, two, three, four, four. I use one very rarely now. I didn't use one at all, and I lost one. So this product was just a horrible product. I will start one for uh, after the New Year's, and hopefully I will be a lot more successful. So let me just tell you. Start with the lipsticks. I lost. I'm pretty sure I didn't lose it, I just misplaced it, but I haven't been able to find it for about a week, so I haven't been able to use it for a week, but I lost my Maybelline uh, Touch of Spice lipstick, which was the other lipstick that I wanted to pretty much hit pan on, so like completely finish, but I gotta tell you right now, I didn't even finish it. I would wear these every single day, and I still didn't, I didn't even come close. That thing is like jinxed or something. This is the YSL lipstick that I wanted to finish. I have to say that I did use a lot of this and it's about halfway so I gotta give myself a little bit of props for this one because at least I used it and it did go about halfway so even though I didn't finish it I'm still gonna continue to use it because by itself I can't wear it it's way too light it doesn't look right on me I'll, t I'll show you right now it's way too light as you can see like right here it's just way too light like when I put it on my lips it looks like I just like put cocaine or something all over my lips to be completely honest so I pair this, I put this first and then I put a darker lipstick on top to make it light or another lipstick to like create a new color. But I will not wear this by itself because on me it is way too light. It is more for like porcelain skin people or like, you know, people who are a lot lighter than me. So, this is what it looks like. I am about halfway done at least. So that, I want to say, is a plus about this project. But I didn't finish it like I said. I thought I would and I wanted to. But I will continue using it so that I can finish this. Second thing is the one that I didn't touch at all, at all. It's the Carez of course Greek Yogurt uh, Advanced Nourishing Sleeping Facial. I love this, but the thing with me is that I work retail, so I do have very like odd hours that I, like sometimes I work at 7:30 in the morning, leave at 4:30 in the in the evening or in the afternoon, and sometimes I'll go in at one in the evening, at one in the afternoon, and leave at at almost 11 o'clock at night. So when I come home, I barely sometimes I don't even take off my makeup. And so to put something on my face after, like, wash my, take off my makeup, wash my face, tone it and whatever, put this on, it's just, like, way too much. I just want to go to sleep. So I haven't touched it. I'm just going to be completely honest with you. And you can tell that I haven't touched it at all. Like, <laughs> it's completely full. So instead of, like, making up excuses or whatever, I will just tell you I didn't touch this. So it's not done. Then the one that I use sort of but not a lot, I used to use this every single day, like I used to be obsessed with it, I used to be obsessed with contouring and all of that good stuff but I just haven't been lately. Um, but <laughs> I used a little bit of it. it. I did have hit pan before I started this project and I just kind of ruined my nails touching this. Um, so I do want to finish it obviously, I want to continue using it but I just for, I don't know, I haven't been really obsessed I want to say or even motivated to like contour put concealer on normally now I don't put concealer I just put on my foundation and I think it's fine um, but I do want to start using concealer up again just to brighten up my under eye so I haven't really been in the mood to contour and like shape my face or anything so I really have I've been using this on and off but not like on a daily basis so that's why it still looks about the same as from when I started Meh. and this is the benefit hula bronzer love this bronzer I know pe some people will probably say like oh it's too light for you like you need a darker bronzer or something but I actually like it and I like to contour with it just because it gives you like that subtleness it's not like a dark line like right on my face it's kind of like a gradual line for my skin tone so I like that about this and the only two things that I will say that I did kind of accomplish using were my two blushes because I am legit using these every single day every single day every single day from when I started this project to now, and I will continue using it until I'm freaking finished. Um, one person did write on my previous project pan update that I should just like mix the two together, like break it up, put it together in one pan, so that way I can probably like mix the colors, like have the colors mixed in one thing, and then I can, I'll probably use it a lot more. Um, and I should do that. I'm just scared to do that. <laughs> so let me show you guys what I'm talking about. It is the one of them is a Coralista br uh, blush from Benefit, 
and I have to say I have used a lot like if you remember my first video it did not look it had a hole in the middle I did hit pan but it didn't look like this like I am very close to finishing this I just have to hit the corners and then I'm good and then this is the blush that won't die like seriously this blush will not die I have let it fall the thing has gone out of it I have used it and used it and used it I'm sorry for the noise in the back um, on the street I've used it and 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 used it it just won't die it won't die I don't know what I have to do how many uses if this is a trick if somebody put a jinx a hex on this so that no matter how many times I use it I will still have some in here I don't know it's quite possible but this is the Dame blush from MAC. It is a powder blush and I'm telling you, you remember the song that never ends from Pork Chop? Lamb Chop? Not Pork Chop. Pork Chop is the dog from Doug. Um, from Lamb Chop with Shirley. This is it. This is the damn blush that will never end. You can see I still have around the corners of this, but I completely hit pan. This isn't even anything anymore. Like it doesn't give uh, any color. See? It's just like a stained or whatever from the product, but this is it. I have used a lot more from when I started, but this freaking blush won't die. So I would say out of six things, I'm gonna give myself two. I'm gonna complete. I'm gonna say I completed these because I kind of really did. <laughs> so I'm gonna say out of six products, I have completed two. One is a half, so 2.5. Is that cheating? I don't know. But I'm going to say 2.5 because this is a hack. I hope you guys liked this update with the last update, the finished um, result from my Project Pan, the Project 6 Pan. I know I didn't do that well. <laughs> it was my very first one. So now I do know like I need to stay focused and I need to use these products. And now I kind of know that for some of these, I do need to use them more than once a day. Like the lipsticks, like I would put them on in the morning and then wouldn't retouch. So I do need to use them during the throughout the day and maybe even the blushes. So I know now for my next project pan what to do and what not to do. So I will do another project pan and hopefully it will be more successful than this one. Hopefully I won't lose anything and I will use all of the products that I say I will use. So I hope you guys keep an eye out for that. It's probably going to come sometime in January. So again, thank you guys so much for watching and I will leave all my links down below. If you liked any of my videos or even this one, give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already so you won't miss out on any other videos. So thank you guys again so much for watching and I will see you in my next one.